but today's topic is for those muslims who insult true living creator god because he took a human form as messiah jesus and his purpose of taking that form was the greatest the salvation of humanity the mankind and my today's message is for those christians who have burden to preach the gospel the good news with muslims they need to know these references to counter muslims to preach to muslims when they try to criticize that why god became a man and how is it possible so we need to know these references where i am going to prove the human appearance and shape of allah with human nature from the references which are in quran and hadith the islamic sources the muslim scholars they know these references and they try to defend these references with two claims one is that there is no example of allah it is written in quran there is no example of allah but when i am going to share these references we can find there are so many examples of these shapes of allah the other thing they can try they can try that this is figurative metaphoric and spiritual meaning with these shapes but again if they succeed in one or two references there are so many references of these shapes and those are literal with literal meaning those shapes and appearances of allah and nature of allah is literal not metaphoric not figurative and not spiritual so my first reference is in front of you these are hadiths in which allah is promising muslim people that i'll come to you in a shape in a form which is not known to you and the muslim will not recognize allah and then later on allah will come in a shape which is common and known to muslims and then muslim will recognize their allah here i want to tell my muslim friends that i can make fun of this ref this reference i can insult your god with this reference i can take this shape to any form of any other creature but my purpose is not that so i'm taking it a form and shape of human which the humans the people they can recognize my purpose is to preach to you the good news and tell you don't try to criticize or insult true living creator god when he took the form of a man so it is better for you my next reference is in this hadith the references are there allah is creating Ab- adam in his image and with the length of 60 cubits height tall again i can take this form and shape of allah which he is creating adam on his image to any idol to any creature or man i'll go with man adam as he is saying he is making adam on his image so 
I don't want to insult. My purpose is not that. And my Christian brothers and sisters who want to preach to them, they can use the same method or manner. Even if you are living in any Islamic country, you can bring these all references in a way to raise question, to ask them, to think about these references without making any insult or fun. Just to preach them that when Christians, when we believe the true living creator God took a form of a man, his incarnation, try to understand that. And if you want to criticize that, then you need or you should criticize your own references before you do that. So my next reference is the resemblance of Allah with the Dajjal. Dajjal is a figure in Islam, a name given to Antichrist. And in this hadith, the Prophet of Islam is stating that there is a description of that Dajjal Antichrist and the difference between Dajjal and Allah is that Dajjal, the Antichrist, is one-eyed. He has only one eye. He has no right eye. But Allah is not like that. So again, there is a shape of Allah. There is a form of Allah. And the difference between the Antichrist, the Jal, and Allah is Allah is not one-eyed. Allah is not with one eye. So again, the form and shape of Allah is there. And my next reference is this Quran 55-27 where... Allah is talking about his face and the next reference Allah is showing his leg shin and with that showing he is telling Muslims to prostrate in front of that shin it means Allah has a form Allah has a shape then in this hadith Termadi 245 The palm and fingers of Allah The palms and fingers of Allah Palms are on the shoulder of Muhammad And the fingers Muhammad is feeling The coldness of those fingers of Allah So there is a shape of Allah And I don't want to resemble that shape with any other creature which I can do if you make fun of true living creator God then you give me the right to do that but that is not my purpose so I am taking it as a form of human a man but there is a shape of Allah and there are so many examples of that then the next reference is Allah is shaking hand with Umar the companion of Muhammad on the welcome gate of paradise and it is written that this hadith is weak but my claim is when Allah is shaking hand that this is strong shaking hand and strong hadith don't try to run away by saying this is weak hadith this is very strong hadith when Allah has hands, two hands on one side, he can shake hand. We are going to see that in re next references. So here we go. Allah has two right hands, Quran 38, 75. On one side of right side, Allah has two hands. This is in Hadiths also and Quran 38, 75. Allah is creating Adam with his two right hands. So again, Allah has a shape, Allah has a form. So when true living creator God is taking a form and shape of a man, you cannot criticize that. You need to believe in that because that form was with the greatest purpose. 
for mankind. And again, if you say there is no example of Allah, I can give so many examples here. Of two right hands on one side, I can give so many examples, I'm telling you. But I, my, again, my purpose is not that. My purpose is to preach you the good news. So I don't want to insult or make fun of Allah. It is like that in your sources. So now we can see the human nature of Allah. Allah is thinking and behaving like a man. In this reference, Quran 53, 21, Allah is accusing that you are making sons of God for you males and for me females daughters Uzalat Manat. This is not fair. For your gods you are making sons and for me you are attributing females daughters so here purely we can see a manly nature a human nature of a man a desire of a man a desire you can say of a person and then in Quran 6 101 Allah is demanding a lady a companion a wife a maid to produce a son to produce a child again human nature manly nature is working in Allah so Allah has a shape of a man Allah thinks and behave like a human being and he has a desires like human beings then the next reference is Quran 1917 the Spirit of Allah is appearing in front of Mary as a complete perfect man here Muslims are going to say that no 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 this is not spirit of Allah this is angel and they will make a wrong and fabricated and corrupted translation for this verse for their defense but here the true translation is spirit of Allah and when I am talking about my spirit you are talking about your spirit that is yourself when I'm talking about my spirit that is myself so when Allah is talking about his spirit that means that is Allah taking form of a man in front of Mary and bringing a message to Mary so again a shape and form of a man who is Allah is in this verse then one more human nature of Allah which I'll say is not a good nature it's not a good deed it's a dirty deed it is written in your Quran I'm just going to read it Quran 66 12 the correct translation here is that spirit who is appearing in front of Mary taking a form of perfect man he is behaving like a man but not in a good way he is breathing he is putting his spirit in the private parts of Mary which we do which we Christians we do not believe in that the shape and form which I described with the Islamic sources we do not believe in that nature or form or shape but we believe the God became man with the greatest purpose he took a form of a man he took a body to ransom us from death he showed his love and mercy but he is not behaving like this as 
what Allah is doing in Quran and Hadiths. So, when there are so many references for the shape of Allah, form of Allah, human nature of Allah, there is one incarnation in Quran which is taken from the Holy Bible which describes the incarnation of true living creator God why I say that is true because that is taken from the Holy Bible and that is the purpose of this video this message that Muslims you should believe in that Quran 345 the good news is coming to Mary the word of God is coming to Mary the kalima of God is coming to Mary and taking a form of Messiah Jesus this is the true incarnation which true living creator God took his word became flesh and his word has all authority that word is eternal absolute neither begets nor is begotten biologically and he has all authority he is all powerful and he is a person that word is a person you need to read John chapter 1 the whole chapter especially this verse 14 and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we have seen his glory glory as of the only son from the father full of grace and truth so my muslim friends today you have received the truth you cannot criticize true living creator god for taking a form of man if you want to, then you have to criticize your own sources. And my Christian brothers and sisters use all these references to preach them, especially when they try to criticize your faith on this subject, on this topic. Noted down all these references, even if you are living in Islamic countries, you can use these references in a good way, in a way as you ask questions to understand things and when you ask questions to your muslim neighbors friends co-workers the god is going to open their mind and heart with those questions and you can preach the good news with that you can bring them to the holy bible to your faith with all these method and points and at the end I want to thank brother Christian Prince and brother Anthony Rogers I want to thank God for them I got some of these references from their videos and some of them I heard when I was living in Islamic country so Lord bless you all keep doing good work for Jesus for Lord keep sharing the truth and whenever you get a time, whenever you see someone is criticizing, asking question, don't lose that time and chance. Preach the gospel, preach the good news. Lord bless.